Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Yeah, you're right. I'm out here with Mr. Craig. We're <laughs> out here on a canal. We got the rod pod hooked up. Let's get the pack bait going. Come on. I need a bowl of water. It's kind of a steep bank and it's hard packed. You can't use bank sticks very effectively here. So that's what's up. Landing fish is gonna be fun. This is a drainage canal in Plaquemines Parish, just by the uh, JP Parish line. It rained yesterday, so everything is freshly churned up. I've seen a few fish crash since I've been here. What we got going on here is breadcrumb that I just made earlier this afternoon. And then this is the ram or rice bran, if you like. I'm gonna be feeder fishing tonight. I got cages using three rods but I'm gonna make just a little bit of pack bait to begin with. I'm not gonna dump everything in here. Looking for a rough 50-50 mix here. Craig, could you be a big help and grab the uh, red tote out of the back of the truck for me? So we're doing a dry mix now before we add any moisture. I'm probably not even going to add all that water in that bowl. I want that bag of feeder corn out of there is what I want. So here's feeder corn, it's boiled. What you do with this is you soak it overnight and then you boil it till it's soft. I'm gonna put these on hair rigs, but as you see, there's a huge bag of it. It's been in the refrigerator. We're going to add maybe a couple of handfuls to this. Maybe a third handful. Now I want to mix it again. Definitely want to see where the mix is going to be once I added this corn in because there's moisture with it. I do not want this super doughy. I don't want it super wet. If it's too wet, it's not going to break up when it hits the water. You want it to just stick together. All right, now we need to add some moisture. And we're just going to, a little bit at a time, and then mix. If I add too much moisture, it is just gonna be a dough ball and it's not gonna break up. You wanna make a patch of bait around the hook bait. So easy to get this too wet. I'm like right on the verge of being too wet, but see how it's kind of crumbly? I think we're okay. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and it will probably turn out even better. I am cage feeding tonight, but I'm also gonna use this catapult or slingshot if you like. I don't know why they call them catapults in the UK. We're gonna use this to put some bait out. Since this canal was recently towing, you know, had a lot of current because of the rain yesterday. There's a lot of stuff right here to the left in the water. You might not be able to see it. A lot of vegetation and other things kind of built up. So we're gonna fish just to the right of it, not too far out, maybe 20 or 30 feet. Ah, I'm still getting used to this. This is the first time using a catapult. Let me give it another go. and try it from up here. It might be better. Ah, man, it takes some getting used to. There we go. There you go. Takes a bit of getting used to. Let's see if I can get it successful and one more time there we go yeah, wait. i'm gonna feed just a little bit more now i'm broadcasting a bit of corn through the areas we're gonna fish so i'm using hair rigs tonight and the particular rigs that i'm using came with something i bought so they're ready ready made ready tied i'm gonna try and put three kernels on each pair. Where did it go? <laughs> I'm not gonna go into depth about this ready-made rig, but I will tell you that it is a size four hook and there is the loop. Get this hooked on here. There we go. There's a barb on the tip of my bait threading needle. I'll slide those on. 
yeah three are gonna fit nicely and now I'm gonna put a bait stop on this a bait stop could be anything these are little pieces of plastic made for bait stops years ago I used used to use pieces of grass or twigs well I forgot to show you because Craig kept asking a million questions <laughs> but you basically get that little bait stop or whatever in the loop and snug the bait down there's three rods and they're basically all have the same things on them this is the cage feeder that we're using tonight I'm just going to show you once start packing it full of bait We're using two ounce lead tonight, but the feed is going to make it feel heavy when you cast it. We're not fishing too far out. If you're wondering why I'm not sticking my bait in with the balls, because this isn't a method feeder that would just cause havoc. We're gonna make a patch of feed around our hook bait or our hair rig there we go a nice lob we're gonna fish that one close in it's about maybe 15 feet out it's kind of deep right there anyway did you just tell me i'm getting a bite this thing i just put on here forget what they're called but it'll keep the line down in the groove that's all it's about i've got all three rods out you see the white one on the right there that's the one craig is using all three targeting carp and since i've baited up the swim in front of us the bit of water where i have my baits placed fish are crashing feeding off my bait this rod has got a couple of bumps so far this is what this one's close in this one is a little further out and then craig's is close in but to the right all three of these reels are bait runners and feeder corn or feed corn is nothing like fishing with corn out of the can canned corn sweet corn it's harder, it's just soft enough to take a needle, so the carp are not gonna be able to take it off the hair rig easily. And I don't expect turtles because it's kind of cold and it's nighttime. We just had another line bait. Like, ooh, yeah, I'm getting hit. It's hard to see the rod tips because of the dense fog tonight. Ooh. If we fed the hood, you have to take it, huh? I want them to take it. I can barely see my rod tip. Oh, I'm getting, look at that, line, line bites. There you go. Ah, dog. Got him. Got him? Yeah. That's good. That's a big one, too. Yeah. yeah that's a big one. God, dog. <laughs> like a bad tub out there. Get the uh, landing net near me. Since we've been here fishing, watching all these line baits and all these drop back bites, a bunch of weed has floated in front of us. All right, so make sure my, I'm gonna make sure I don't get into this line. I have a bit of a loose drag because I don't wanna lose the fish. I gotta be careful coming down too. What's going on up there? Oh, okay. Oh, we're just going to have to play this fish through these weeds. Ooh. I love these rods. This is the first fish on this rod. This is a... Hey, get this out of the way. What? The end rod. rod. Lay it down far in front of the truck. Huh? Take it that way. This? Yeah, towards the front of the truck. Oh, I don't think I have a carp. That's a big blue cat. Yeah. 
Look at big blue cat on feeder corn. Wow. I can't stay away from catfish. <laughs> this is a Black Widow Daiwa rod. It's got a three pound test curve. It was really fun to play this little beast here. I'm glad I brought a catfish landing net. God, don't have a big one. Yeah, well, on a hair rig. Looks something like that one y'all caught that night up bigger maybe. Yeah. He is a 20 pound class catfish. He needs to calm down. How much? 25.18. Well, I'm well pleased. Yeah, you're right. I'm really glad that I decided not to use fake corn tonight. <laughs> I don't think I would have ended up with this. Maybe. But this is pretty cool. It goes to show that... <laughs> You could catch nice catfish when you're looking for nice carp. It's not <laughs> over, guys. Not yet. We're going to let this one go. 25 pounder out of the canal. A lot of action tonight. As I walk down here, I bet we might hear a beep behind me. We're going to see if we can just slip this big boy back in here. There he goes. He's kicking in there. He's getting it. He's getting it. There he goes. Cool. This is that canal that Craig always for years said, there's no blue cat in there. <laughs> now I've got two videos of blue cat coming out of here. And none of them are small. Well, none of them are under the 20 pound glass. Yeah, second one. Yep. I would love to stay and actually get a carp, but this fog is just getting thicker and thicker and it's really hard to see the rod tips and the light. You can't see the lines at all. It is about 115 now. I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm happy that I got a 25 pound blue cat on the hair rig on, on feeder corn. Feeder corn is a lot funner to fish with than canned corn because it's bigger. It's not going to come off at all or fast as fast as sweet corn. So, we're going to get back on the carp thing here pretty soon. Yeah, you're right, guys. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.